priest is someone who offers sacrifice to God on behalf of the people. In the Old Testament, there were many priests and many sacrifices, but in the New Testament, there's only one priest, Jesus Christ, and only one sacrifice, the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. The ordained minister, the priest, simply offers his hands, his voice, his body to Jesus Christ. He doesn't act in his own name. He acts in the name and the person of Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ who is offering himself and who is being offered in every Mass. Whenever the priest celebrates Mass, he's giving expression to the priesthood of the entire church, the common priesthood of all believers, making it possible for all of the faithful to offer up sacrifice to God in union with the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The ministerial priesthood of the ordained priest is at the service of the common priesthood of all believers. Of course, the Eucharist isn't simply a sacrifice, it's also a sacramental banquet in which all Christians are nourished by the body and blood of Jesus Christ, which is present in the Eucharist. The logic of the Mass is the logic of, of Christian existence. Back in the second century, Saint Irenaeus of Lyon said that, of the early Christians, our way of life is in harmony with the Eucharist, and the Eucharist confirms our way of life. And just in the last century, Saint Jose Maria Escrivá said that in the Mass we find a program for the entire Christian life. We find petition, we find adoration, we find reparation for sin, we find thanksgiving, and in Holy Communion we find this loving union with our Father God, which is a foretaste of heaven. In the Second Vatican Council, we hear the Eucharist described as the source and summit of the Christian life. And if that's true for all Christians, how much truer it must be for a priest whose very reason for existing is precisely the Eucharist. Of course, every Mass is infinitely valuable because Jesus Christ himself is present. But what we get out of the Mass depends on what we put in, on our openness to God's grace. That's why it's so important for all Christians, and especially for priests, to prepare prayerfully for this great sacrament, to try to live the Mass, to participate, to celebrate the Mass with all our heart, all of our attention, our intellect, with reverence, with piety, remembering that we should celebrate Mass as if it were for the first time, for the last time, and the only time.